Hello everyone. Today I will uh, try to simulate another CCCS circuit uh, for you. So basically we will solve this circuit over here. So I have already drawn uh, this circuit over here in this schematic. And the only difference with the previous circuit we did uh, is the controlling current is now in this mode from 2 to ground. So I have uh, drawn this circuit over here and if you simulate you get our voltage. So we can see from our schematic files that V1 is at 10 volts, V2 at 8.33 volts and this node is at minus 1.667 volts. You can also do it by hand and get the calculation. So you might be wondering why am I showing you this? Because I already showed you in the past video how to simulate a CCC circuit. There is a subtle difference between this circuit and the previous circuit and that is in this schematic. So if you see here, I have intentionally written this. Uh, notepad as dummy source. So you can see that there is a dummy source dot CI. So why is this a dummy source? You can see that in while simulating this circuit, if you use this circuit to uh, in your uh, netlist, you will not get your desired output. You will have some error. You can try this on your own. We, we have to own. Uh, we have to use our dummy source in this circuit to know the controlling circuit. So a dummy source of voltage, uh, dummy voltage source of zero volt should be connected in series with the resistor to monitor the controlling current because by default P spice de demands that the controlling current should be flowed through a voltage source. So use a zero volts uh, in the circuit. You know, uh, using zero volt source doesn't affect the circuit because it's zero full volt is actually a short circuit, so it doesn't matter. So uh, in spite of using a wire, we are using a zero volt. So we, if you see the netlist, it is V1. V1 is, is 10 volt between 1 and 0, R1, R2, the only difference here is V2 and that is between 5 and 6 volt and that is 0 volt. And the controlling uh, car, control current source is F1 which flows from number 7 node to number 2 node and the controlling current is flowing to the V2 source that is nothing but this 0 volt source and the gain is 0 0.5 volt. So if we now open the circuit in our PSPICE AD, you can see file open and if we open our .cir files, we saved that as dummy source. Okay, so now if we open, so our analysis is completed. And if we, I printed V1, V2, and V4, you can see that we get the exact same result V1 as 10 volts, V2 as 8.33 volts, and V4 as minus 1.667 volts. So always keep this in mind while uh, you are simulating a current control current source circuit because uh, you need a dummy source to. Uh, to show P spice that you are controlling current from that source. Why did we not use uh, the dummy source in the previous circuit? Because in the previous circuit, the current was flowing through this R1, so which was actually flowing through this V1. So in the previous circuit, we would write something like this F1, uh, the current is flowing from 1 to 0 node, and the, the current is flowing actually through V1 source. So we didn't have to use uh, a dummy source in the previous circuit. But in this circuit, as the current is not actually flowing through any source, we have to create a dummy source so that our PSPICE can run and simulate correctly. So always keep this in mind while simulating a CCCS circuit. Thank you.